Hello and welcome to Blue Army TV, and uh, more importantly, welcome to part one of the League One Blues um, potential transfers. Um, look, I've had to do this in two part because I started drafting up a little short list that turned into quite a long list. Um, so to start off with, in this part one video, I'm going to be going over goalkeepers and defenders. Uh, that's centre backs and full backs. Um, and in part two, we're going to go over midfielders and strikers. I haven't done wingers because we don't play with wingers, but I just thought I'd mention that because a lot of people will have done and included wingers in their sort of uh, shortlists. Whereas I don't think that's an area we should be looking at. Um, but look, starting off, we've got the goalkeepers, and the goalkeeper area is a very, very difficult one to try and predict for me. And that's someone else I should say as well um, before I forget. These aren't transfers I think we'll make. These are potential transfers that I would like to see. Like, there's a few of these that are a little bit out there. Some of them are a little bit unrealistic. Some of them you could potentially say we could do better. But these are just sort of my sort of ideas, my preferences. Um, but yeah, with that, out, with that out of the way, we're going to our first goalkeeper, one of four. Uh, that's Mark Gillespie. Um, look, and I, I know there's a big thing about going after X players that I think Carlisle fans seem to want it too much. Uh, it has worked out recently with, with obviously, Joe Garner. Um, but, Mark Gillespie for me, only 31 years old. The Newcastle release retainer list hasn't come out officially yet, but I can imagine he will be released, so we will be able to get him on a free. I don't think he'd have dropped down to League 2. I think some could argue he's still a championship-level keeper. But leaving Newcastle having not played in three years... Um, I think he'll probably be looking at League One clubs more, or maybe he'll look for a move back to Scotland, I don't know. He is English. Um, I think he'd be a good choice, but it also comes down to what Paul Simpson wants, because he's already said that he wants another goalkeeper, but I can't figure out whether he means a first choice or a second choice. I can't work out whether he wants Thomas Hawley at first choice again next season. He has had issues with him this season, and look, he's a fan favourite and he deserves to be, because of the way he acts off the pitch. And, you know, on the pitch as well. But he has been slightly unreliable at past this season. He's a cult hero because of his heroics in the in the playoff final. But is he the option going into uh, League One? I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him starting the season at just first choice. But I also wouldn't be surprised to see a Mike Gillespie come in and move Thomas Holy down to the bench. Um, if we were going to go with just signing the second choice keeper, there was an argument to keep Mick Kelly, because I actually quite liked him as a keeper. Um, but I have got options here for first choice and second choice, and I think Mark Gillespie would be a first choice keeper. Uh, similarly, I've got Bradford's Harry Lewis, slightly unrealistic, 25 years old, English, he's played 46 games this season, 18 clean sheets, just behind Thomas Hall, is 20. Um, although you could argue Thomas Hall had a much better defence in front of him. Um, look, Harry Lewis has been one of the best keepers in the league this season um, by quite some distance and I think he might be feeling hard done by that he's still playing League 2 football next season. There is a potential that he could move even higher than League 1. I don't see it this season and I think it would be a smart move for Carlisle to go in and get Harry Lewis because obviously 25 years old, that's very young for a goalkeeper. Is it slightly unrealistic though? Because Bradford will demand quite a big transfer fee, and I don't think they'd start sell to Carlisle with us having knocked them out of the playoffs. Um, that might be a stupid comment, but he is one we could be looking at. And I think we need to sort of up our standards a little bit this this next season because this video was really really hard for me to make because I'm so so used to looking at League Two players, and a lot of these are League Two and National League players that I've got on this list. Um. And look, my knowledge of League 1 is not great compared to what my National League and my League 2 knowledge is. So, it is, he is an option that I think could play at League 1 at least, Harry Lewis. Um, is he unrealistic? Maybe slightly. But if we're a league above, there will be some drawing power towards us. Uh, moving on, I've got a player from last season that I just I, I still think has got something to offer. Uh, 13 games last season for walking in the National League. It's Will Yaskalain and he's only just joined there as a free agent, but I'm not sure what his contract is, and I think if we wanted him, we could get him. Do we want him? Probably not. I just quite like Willie Eskeline, and maybe I'm sort of influenced by how good his dad was, um, and you know, the legend of him, but 24 years old, still a young goalkeeper, played 13 games last season, uh, did not 
light on fire at Wimbledon, and he's maybe one that I've just kind of put in here to make up the numbers, but a little out, a little bit of an out there shout, but I think with a decent sort of coach like Gerard, he we could get something out of him. Uh, and then last but maybe least, uh, we've got Stuart Moore, Blackpool reserve goalkeeper, just being released, 28 years old, played two games last season. Uh, keeping a clean sheet in neither of them. Now, look, Stuart Moore is an interesting one because wherever he's gone, he's never really established himself as a number one keeper. He's 28 now, and he's sort of used to being a backup keeper. I think he'll probably want to go further down the league, and I think he might sign for a League Two club and try and be their first choice. But Stuart Moore, if we're looking for that backup keeper, he could be an option. Being released from Blackpool as well, he's, he's quite northern. Um, so he... You know, he's, he's one that he probably won't happen, um, but be interesting to see if it were to happen. And that moves us on to the central defenders where things get a little bit more exciting. <laughs> That's the thing with these videos. Um, people will be more excited about attackers and midfielders than they are goalkeepers and defenders uh, being linked. But And the thing is, none of these players have been linked except for my next player where I have seen some links with us. Only on sort of really rubbish poorly sourced transfer rumour sites, but which cannot be trusted by the way, but he is one to be looking at, and it's Jesse Debra from Halifax Town. 23 year old English centre back, played 33 games last season, getting two goals, and to be honest it just looks like he won't be at Halifax next season. He will sign for a, a club higher up the, the leagues I think. And look, young defenders, we've done really well with them in the past, especially if Morgan Feeney doesn't sign his contract, which by the time this goes out he might have. Um, more likely probably not he'll probably wait to the last minute but 23 years old plenty of room for improvement big defender as well um he's he's a monster at the back and i think he would be a sort of decent enough option for us uh similarly will fish from uh man united um on loan at hibs last season played 21 games got three goals definitely a loan signing as well i don't think we'd get this guy for on a permanent uh but yeah he's impressed at hibs um and people come compare the Scottish League to uh, League 1 and League 2 levels, so it might not be that unrealistic to get Will Fish. He has got a very funny name. 20 years old, centre-back. Um, yeah, I'd like to see us uh, go in for him, to be honest. He's a sign I would be excited by, especially with the pedigree of being from Man United. But like I said, probably more realistic as a loan signing, and I'm not sure how I feel about loan signings. Someone who wouldn't be a loan signing, however, is 27-year-old Liam Gordon from St. Johnson, also being played in the Scottish League. Um, 32 games, 2 goals, 1 assist. Yeah, he, he just looks solid. That, that, that's all I can say about Liam Gordon. He, he, he just looks solid. He's nothing particularly brilliant. Um, and St. Johnson are in the relegation part of the Scottish League. And by that, I mean, I, that doesn't mean they're getting relegated. I mean, at this point in the season, the Scottish League splits in two. And he's in the bottom half of that league. Um, and I think he might be looking to move on from from um, from St. Johnson. Just looking for another challenge. He's been there for quite a while. Um, and he's one I'd like to see us take a punt on. Similarly, uh, Billy Cometio from Liverpool. Another on loan sign I think would be more realistic. On loan at Austria last season. Only nine games. Uh, with some of them coming for the Austria, Austrian... Uh, Bundesliga 2 reserve side because that's just how things work over there but he's French, he's 20 years old um, I'm not sure he'll still be at Liverpool next season, I said he'll probably be um, a more realistic as a loan player but I don't think he's one that has a future at Liverpool like Will Fish might at Man United but yeah he's an interesting one, he might be one to take a, again, take a punt on he's, he's just an interesting one I, I can see him going out on loan in the EFL at some point this season if he is to stay at Liverpool and why not come to Carlisle? And last out of the centre-backs, we've got um, somebody we'll all be very, very familiar with, having kept Carlisle out um, consistently over the years. It's Manny Month. Um, he's already been released. Some would say if he's not good enough for Warsaw in League 2, he's probably not good enough for Carlisle in League 1. But 44 games, he played every game last season. Uh, two goals and two assists. 20 years, 28 years old still. He's just an absolute beast of a centre-back and I don't know why he's been released by Warsaw. Maybe I'm just blinded by what I've seen him against Carlisle because he always seems to have a really good game against Carlisle. He's maybe not that consistent throughout the season but he's a very good centre-back and I, I, if I was Warsaw building for the top of the table like they're trying to do 
why they've let this man go, I, I don't know. I know they've had an underwhelming season, but over the last few years especially, he's been absolutely fantastic, and I don't know why they've released him. Um, and he could be a very, very good option for us at the back. Moving on, another League 2 player. I'm starting to notice a pattern here. Uh, it's Junior. Shamadadu. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called the, Ch the Colchester fullback, anyway. It's run at fullbacks now. English, right back, 19 years old. Played 41 games with 5 goals and 2 assists. Made it into the uh, League 2 team of the season. At only 19, that's that's a brilliant effort. Um, maybe you might be a little bit unrealistic for a League 1 club because P Championship and Premier League clubs will look at him and think there's someone we can just chuck into our youth academy like they just tend to do for, like, what, 600k or something like that. Um... But one we could be looking at. Similarly, in his right back role, uh, we've got Finn back. Now, obviously, he's, a, he's a, um, a full back we're all very used to seeing this season. Season ruined by inju injury. Played 18 games for Carlisle last season with two assists. Um, still only 20. Obviously, from Nottingham Forest. Um, them staying up in the Premier League means he probably won't get any opportunities there next season. And they will probably look to either release him or send him back out on loan. Paul Simpson seems to really like him, although I think there might be competition from Jack Ellis this season, who I personally think is a better right-back. But we'll have to see. 20 years old, if, especially if we can get him on a permanent. Um, it could be a really, really good investment for us. Similarly, Jordan Shipley, Shrewsbury Town, I'm finally getting into League One players. Um, left-back, so again, left-back is, isn't an area that I think we're going to need too much reinforcement in. These are just a few potential options if players were to leave, maybe. Jack Armour will be first choice, and I think he is ready for League One. Max Kills be coming back, can play on the left, can play on the right, can play through the centre. Back on loan from Annan, who I think Paul Simpson's looking to give an opportunity to this season. Could be the backup, so I don't think there might not be enough room for left-backs, but... Jordan Shipley from Shrewsbury Town, would they sell him? Probably not. He's played 45 games this season with four goals and six assists. He's slightly unrealistic. I think Shrewsbury are going to try and build towards the top end of the league this season. From what I've seen from their fans, they seem very confident this season. 25 years old might be too much for us, but if we're willing to splash the cash, especially if we get the cash from the um, Branfwaite deal or we get the cash from the Henderson deal, maybe we can splash the cash on a few of these players like Jordan Shipley. But someone that wouldn't cost us any money is uh, Barra's Patrick Bruff being released. And by released, I mean he refused a contract extension. 27 years old, 41 games last season with three assists. Definitely their standout player. But would we would, would we get him? I've, I've seen him linked with Mansfield. At, at one point, that looked all but done. Uh, English, I'd... He wouldn't have to move very far. You know, it, it wouldn't, I think it's probably the closest club to Barra Carlisle. Um, for him that would be reasonable for him. I can see him going to Markham with them getting relegated. I don't think he'll step up to League One because not because I don't think he's good enough for League One, but because the teams I've seen him link with have been Mansfield. Uh, they've been League Two clubs, so and especially with us having Jack Armour, we might not be able to get him. But he's definitely an option to look at, especially if Jack Armour were to move on, which I don't think he will. Um, but yeah, that concludes the goalkeeper, centre-back and full-back um, situation this season. We're moving on to central midfielders in part two, which will be out the day after this video is out. I'm not sure what day I'm going to put this video out, but whatever it is, part two will be coming the day after. Um, and that's why I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think any of these are good suggestions? Do you think these are absolute waffle and here's your suggestions? Um just yeah, just let me know who you want us to sign. Um, and look, I, I promise the midfielders and striker section will be a little bit more exciting, having come up with some uh, sort of more recognisable players. We'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for the support on the last video. It, it I think it, it might be on a thousand views by now, but it's getting very close, which is unreal support for a not match review video. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and in a bit.